Hi there, my name is Mike Phillips and today I hope to give you an introductory lesson to Win Jupos. In later videos I hope to show you derotation, image map creation, and all sorts of other wonderful things that Win Jupos does. For now, let's get started with Ephemeris. So here on my desktop I have a reasonably fresh installation of Win Jupos. Yours will probably ask you to select a directory and choose a planet to reselect a planet after you've run it the first time you can go into program celestial body and I've selected Jupiter it's Jupiter season now so now underneath tools the first option here is ephemeris or ephemerids however you choose to say that you tell me which is right now under ephemerids you will see pretty much just a blank disk like this. Some of the first things I like to do are on the left hand side over here where the options are, are texturing, which turns this beautiful map on and we'll see later how to change that. You can actually use ones that other people produce to give you near real time views. Uh, this view of Jupiter is, is pretty, um, but I don't know how accurate it is as far as the location of the Great Red Spot and other features and things like that. So in later tutorials we'll import other users' um, maps. So you can turn names on under the options here and those, that's fun because you can uh, zoom out with this little minus button here. Right, and then you can see where the other moons are located here. And if you use these buttons here, the, the top button, and it depends on what planet you have selected as well, the top button will select either the planet or the moons by orbital location here. So one, two, three, and four. Nice Callisto all by itself out there. So let's go back to IO there. So now that what's fun with this is you can play with uh, your time might be in the 1900s, somewhere 1980, something like that. So you can select real time and that'll give you the view right now. It, you, it will use your system time. Uh, the other thing to note is that the time is reflected in universal time. So you might have to change for your local time zone. Uh, I usually do it mentally and with daylight savings it's never fun. But uh, you can then fast forward into the future with these little buttons here. So this way these two go forward and then you can stop it. You can see it's fun to ride along IO. You here you see Jupiter is spinning and careening towards us here. And then you can um, you can stop that, slow it down. You can go backwards a little bit. So this is fun because you find all the shadow transits and, and things like that. So if let's go fast enough uh, and f forward in time here, we can watch some of the, uh, so we'll select it back on the planet again, and then this, the center button here makes this, makes the object full screen. So there's IOs coming out of the uh, the shadow there. So that's that's a nice event to pick there. So let's go backwards there. So to watch, you can watch IO, uh, we can go backwards in time and find out when these events actually happen. So these are these are really fun things to play with here. It's slowly eking back into the shadow of Jupiter. So Jupiter's shadow is going this way here. So what you'll see is that the, the nice pretty disk of Io there will turn essentially into a nice little outline. So this is really fun stuff to play with. And there it goes into shadow. So, so pretty neat. Uh, I would suggest you get familiar with WinJupos just using some of these little tools like this and uh, then we'll work on some of the image measurement which is actually the more difficult thing to do in the next tutorial so look for that in a little while bye